Okay, but we're both looking at him. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So look into that. Oh, uh, oh yeah, so he's looking here, but... Just maybe look at here. Okay. Uh, look at this one, and this one's just on the goal. It's a different, just a different angle. Angle, okay. Of course, okay. not just boring cool. with one angle. Okay. Uh, Hello everyone, Derek here from your Wilson Football Social Team and uh, we are in beautiful Las Vegas joined by our special guest, Wilson Advisory Staff Member Josh Jacobs of the Raiders. Josh, how you feeling man? Doing good <laughs> man, I appreciate it. Good. Yeah. good, thank you for hanging out with us, uh, spending some time. We got the, the beautiful spot up in here man, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's doing up big. Uh, so Josh, first and foremost man, just wrapped up the season, 10 wins, you guys won your last four to get into the, to get into the playoffs. Yeah. And, first playoff appearance in your in your career. I know it didn't quite go as you had hoped when you got in there, but nonetheless, you guys did make it that far. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? Uh, it was definitely bittersweet yeah. uh, because, um, I mean, I had a, a pretty good game. Um, and it was a good game just throughout the whole game, pretty much. It came down to, to the end and drive. And um, it, when we finally like lost and the time went out of the clock and everybody going in the locker room, um, that's when it kind of like set in, like, mm. dang, like it's over. I think the part that like really set, like hit home for me was you didn't know you don't know who was going to be there next year. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like you don't know what coaches are going to be around, what players are going to be around. So you kind of just try to enjoy the moment with the guys. For sure, and, and you know, as you mentioned, like enjoying that moment, it's a long time to until the start of the next season. Right? It's kind of, yeah. It feels like a long off season. I'm sure yeah. at times too when you're coming off of a off of a loss. But in what ways would you say like you're just keeping that morale high, able to kind of just is there things you're doing to help keep that uh yeah i mean the yeah. thing this year i could definitely say was this this was the first year i was on the team in the nfl that like everybody from every position like special teams mm -hmm. offense defense was like a tight-knit group like we all hung out with each other yeah. outside of football and like it was like a real you know family so a lot of guys still hang out with each other we still in contact still in yeah. group chats with each other and things like that um so that makes it kind of go by a little faster you know uh Players be having like their kids be having birthday yeah. parties. You go to that and things like that. So we we still all stay in contact for sure. And uh, and for yourself personally, like, even just throughout your you know career, is there what are some ways you know because mental toughness is so strong, right? Mental health, mental toughness. What are some ways that you keep yourself yeah. you know, engaged in that way, knowing that hey man, going through a tough patch right now, but we'll see better days. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I can say a couple of things. I know on the field, yeah, um, my guy that I rely on is uh, Alec Engel. Uh, so me and Alec came in together. We went to uh, the combine. He was the only fullback there. We clicked there, which was crazy. <laughs> and then when they brought him in, I was like, okay, let's go. And then um, he's one of them guys, man. He's been through a lot of adversity too. Um, growing up, his story is incredible. Um, but he would just tell you, like, he's one of them dudes that's always positive. He sees the mm -hmm. positive like side of everything. And But he'll drop, like, gems on me, like, man, you got to understand you got this going on, you got this going on, but you're still here. You're still trying to improve. You're still coming to work every day. And he's one of them guys that when I feel like I'm down, uh, I rely on. And um, when outside of football, I just kind of, I try to hit that reset button. You know, we get them a couple of days, like Tuesdays are off days. We get our off days or I do rehab for a little bit. Um, and I come home and I just kind of like sit there for a second. Yeah. I read things like that and kind of just like mentally reset myself and get myself prepared for the, for the next day. That's big. I mean, it's great to have. That's what you need, right? People in your life that can support you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially teammates, family, whatever the case might be. Uh, but speaking of incredible stories and journeys, you yourself have an incredible story and journey. So when you reflect back on all that you've been through, what you've persevered and overcome, but also what you've been blessed to achieve, what stands out the most in your mind? Uh, the most, the thing that stands out the most yeah. to me is just um, how to how to battle through hardships. Mm -hmm. um, and just in life, you know, like even even on this level, you might get injured. You never know. Like things happen in life. Um, and just being able to take the hardest part of your life and, you know, come into this part of your life and be like, this is not so bad, you know what I'm saying? Like putting things into certain perspectives um, and, and to sit there and just be able to know that I went through that and I overcome it, it just makes me feel like I can overcome anything, um, any obstacle. And like now it gives me a hunger to want to do more, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like in my life, um, whether it's like even on the field, off the field, just business moves, like everything, it kind of just makes me want more and want to do more um, to help people in my community um, and, and to change the, the outlook and the, you know, the trajectory of many people from where I'm from. Um, so that's kind of where my mind is at with everything right now. What, with, with that too, because changing the lives of 
of individuals that are from where you're from or maybe have a similar background, what is your biggest piece of advice to the youth, to the young yeah. boy or young girl that's back home that's like, yeah, I'm going, I, I can relate, I'm going through this, but I, I do have dreams and aspirations. Man, it, it, it'd be tough because I remember when I was them and I was yeah. in their position and it's like, I didn't have too many people to come talk to me, but the few people that did talk to me, it's like, it's almost like the dreams and the things that they're telling you are not realistic. Mm. It's like it's unattainable. Mm. You know, so when I go back and I tell them, like, yeah, I know what you're thinking. And I'll tell them, like, yeah. the whole thing. And they'll look at me. You see that, like, that little look in their eyes change. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're really listening. And then you, you just tell them, like, man, you got to you gotta know whatever you put your mind to, if you really work for it and you really have faith and you believe and you pray and things like that, that it will come come to, you know, fruition. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just kind of what I believe in. And um, I tell them, I'm like, man, put your head down. Do right by people. Be a good student, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Be a, just be a good person. Like things are however it's supposed to play out, it'll play out in a positive way. And um, that's kind of the message that I try to uh, get across. For sure, I know I love that. Cause I think what you hit on too right there that's really interesting is like, a lot of times in life we do come across people that are successful, right? Mm -hmm. But they come in to talk to you and they help, but you can't quite relate, right? Yeah, you feel exactly. like, oh, I, it's like, is that my story? Is that my journey, my path? Mm -hmm. But you going back and saying, hey, I, I've been in your shoes. I know exactly what you're going through, or I can, you know, synthesize with you to, an, to a certain extent. Yeah. And then they look at it and say, okay, I, I see anything's possible. So it's gotta be a great feeling, I'm sure. It's <laughs> yeah. definitely a great, yeah. it's definitely humbling. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling too, because yeah. it almost feels like you have a, a greater purpose. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I would be doing myself and others an injustice by not, you know what I'm saying, being around helping, not trying to, you know yeah. what I'm saying, better the next generation. Um, and I mean, with me having kids and things like that, like, that's all I think about, like, okay, their generation, the next generation, the next generation after them, like, how do we uh, positively grow, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, and have that growth um, in life. Um, and, and that's the thing that I'm trying to give to my community. For sure, and uh, on the topic of, of children, like, how do you, find that balance now knowing that you have a great deal of responsibility on the football yeah. field, right? But like you said, you have an even bigger purpose off the field yeah. and being a father. So when you're um, reflecting back on, on that and how you you know raise your children and, and the morals that you present to them, what is, what's at that top of mind for you to know that this is my duty to mold the next generation? Man, you know, it's crazy because I had a kid in high school. Um, so that kind of always, I always had that battle like in college when I first left. Like, it was I making the right decision, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 10 hours, 10 and a half hour drive away. Like, I can't be there every day, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it is this what I'm doing? Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I used to battle with that, like, in, in college. Um, and then, you know, you get to the league, and then you can provide, and you can be around and everything. You'd be like, okay. But it still be like, dang, do I miss that time, mm -hmm. that, that valuable time of uh, going to see little things, you know what I'm saying? Like, just little day-to-day -day things, yeah. you know? Um, but man, I mean, it's 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 a blessing, man. It's 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 an honor too, honestly. It's it's weird though, cause you be, <laughs> your kids do not care how you feeling that day or yeah. nothing. They just know that they want to play. Yeah. So like, you come home, you could be sore. You be like, man, I can't really walk right now. And they come and jump on you. Be like, ah, I gotta do, <laughs> you know, I gotta do yeah. this. But man, I be telling people it's fun, man. It's 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 a blessing for real. And it keeps, like you said, keeps you uplifted, keeps you yeah, on your toes man. every day. You know what I it mean? It keeps yeah. life interesting, yeah. for real. Yeah. For sure. And um. You know, reflecting back to now, now going back to again to your to your journey and your story, like someone that's been through homelessness, that's experienced, you know, living in a vehicle or going from hotel to hotel, and now being in a position where you're living out your you're living out a dream and know yeah. that hey, I could provide and make you know make a living for myself, but also put my family in a great position yeah. to never have to go through that or experience that again. Yeah, I mean that's definitely huge. I mean, uh, I was talking. It's funny that you yeah. brought that up. I was talking to my brother about that the other day. Um, I was telling him, I was like, man, this, the crazy thing about life is you never want to go backwards. Mm. You always want to progress or wherever stage and whatever you are in that, in that section, you still want to, you know, progress. And I was telling him, I was like, man, I'm to the point where now I'm like, I'm getting businesses and things. I'm trying yeah. to have my family. I'm putting my family on, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting my, my family's people on, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that type things. And I'm like, man, that's that's the thing that I always I feel like I I pray for, you know, uh, growing up. When if I always ask God, I'm like, if I'm in this position, it's certain things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, and just to see them them thoughts and them processes slowly coming coming, uh, you know, what I'm saying true. I mean, it's just blessing. It's, it's a humbling feeling, um, but it's also kind of like 
stressful at times. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel like the weight is on you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it's just like, oh, at the end of the day, too, I'll be like, I think to myself, I'm like, I know I can handle it. Like, who else? Who else is? Who else is gonna be the person? You know yeah. what I'm saying? In my family to handle it and, and to step up. Um, and I know that what I'm doing is gonna affect generations, um, um, especially in my family. You know what I'm saying? My kids, my kids' kids, and things like that. Um, so man, it's it's definitely on. For sure, and I'm sure even when you're going through some of those difficult patches where you feel like the you know world of the uh, is on your shoulders, the yeah. weight of the world's on your shoulders. It's like that mentality in your head, like, hey, I got I got to keep pushing. I I know where I've, I've been, and yeah. I know where I'm trying to go, and I, I got to keep, you know, paving the way forward. So, right. yeah, man, no, that's uh, super special. So, and uh, thank you for you know, sharing no, that, man. I love you it. Very, very motivational. I'm ready to jump out the chair right now, man. <laughs> run, run through this uh, glass right here, but. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Josh, just a few more, few more questions for you before we transition to our fun little segment too. Uh, but member of the Wilson Advisory staff, man, Wilson, I know has been along with you throughout your football journey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's your What's your earliest memory with the Wilson football? I remember third grade, the first time I took it. <laughs> yeah. First time, I mean, I, I I know I played with the football a little bit, but I know, like, I remember my very first time touching the football, third grade, um, where we was, like, officially, like, everything is, like, um, you on the team and things like that, you get a uniform. And I remember the ball, like, it's yesterday, um, the Wilson ball with, you know, the black leather, uh, the yes, black sir. leather, so yes, I see yeah, all like, the yeah. little grips. And it's funny, because the older I got, I'm like, Hey, they make these balls bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm like, how did that work? But man, I I even remember playing basketball. I mean, everybody wanted a a, a Wilson Evolution. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or a Wilson Wade ball. Everybody wanted them. Um, so I mean, if you had one too in, in my neighborhood, you was you was the guy. Yeah, you was the guy for sure. I love it. I love it. No, that's uh that's a great uh, great anecdote right there too. Um, so even on that same topic, like just how special is it now that you're, you know, a part of the Wilson family? I mean, that's, that's, you Man, know, I mean, it's, yeah. it's definitely, it's definitely a blessing. Um, yeah. because it's things that you always tell yourself, you know, you just be talking when you grow up and you would tell yourself like, okay, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play football in the league. I'm gonna be a Wilson athlete. I'm gonna be a Nike athlete, things like that. And you would just be like, when you see it all come true, it's just like, wow, it's, it's surreal, honestly. Um, I mean, every time, every day I look at that ball, every day at work, even in the off season, I look at that ball, you know what I'm saying? And I, and it's like, we have a partnership, uh, but we literally have a partnership, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's yeah. crazy. And I mean, then just to be a part of the few athletes that, that they have as ambassadors in, in the league is definitely on it. Hey man, it's, it's been, uh, uh, you know, I, I, know I can speak on behalf of our, our Wilson family, man. It's been a pleasure to like continue to work with you and yeah, we love having you part of the yeah. fam, man. So let's keep it moving, right? Let's yeah. keep it, let's keep it rocking. <laughs> Uh, before we transition, I do want to ask on a lighter note too. I know big shoe guy, yeah, shoe guy. Yeah. So you, you gotta you gotta break it. I know it's probably tough, man. But what, what's uh, what's the go-to cake? And how do you decide? I know it's probably based man. on the fit, what you're rocking. But how do yeah. you? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's easier to put a fit together <laughs> than it is to find a shoe. You gotta say like in my room. I think I got like 400 pairs in my room, like in my room. But I have a whole storage unit full of shoes, and I've been collecting shoes since like college, since I can start, you know what I'm saying, kind of afford them a little bit. Um, I know in the league and then they start sending me, <laughs> sending me shoes and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, cool. But yeah, that's the hardest thing. Like I'll put my whole fit together and I'll be like, okay, now which shoe am I going to wear with this fit? So that's, that's definitely what takes me the longest when I'm getting dressed. That takes long. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a, a, go, a pair that you got in recent time where you're like, oh Ooh. man, I, I've been wanting to get this one. I got it. Okay. okay so yeah. Jordan ones is my all time favorite sure. shoe all-time favorite uh preferably the lows but i like the you know what i'm saying the okay. high tops too um but i would have to say probably like sbs you know what i'm saying like that's probably my like right now go-to shoe okay um if not an all-white air force you can never go wrong with that you can wear it with shorts you can wear it with jeans it don't really matter um so it's like it's like them top three like if i'll be like okay i just need something real quick it's like one of those three yeah okay i see it i see it right there and yeah. uh and, and on the music side man what's number one on the playlist right now <laughs> See, now that's a tough that's question. Okay. All right, so <laughs> question, yeah. can, can you give us the three to five artists that if you're like, hey, I need, to, I need to put it together, I need to get you, the. You this know what's girl. crazy yeah. about that? Because, like, with me, it changes every okay. week. Like, it literally changes. Like, it could, it could be anything. Like, I'm one of them people, like, I don't like listening to, like, before a game. Yeah. I don't, I don't listen to, like, music that get me pumped. Okay. I'm one of them people, like, I listen to chill music. I might listen to some R&B. 
something like that. Something like kind of like calm before the storm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't like to get too amped. Sure. You know, before the game, or I might listen to gospel on the way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On the way to the game. Like, nice. So it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in in that, in that day or or that week, really. That's a really unique point you brought up too, because I've heard a couple of different stories where athletes, they're like before a game, they're not listening to like, yeah, like you're not going to listen to like a Meek Mill like Dreams yeah. and Nightmares, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to listen to maybe an Alicia Keys or something that's like yeah. a little bit more soothing. Like, yeah. like, At yeah. least like right before you go out, yeah. that's that type of music. Yes, but yes, like, yeah. you know, we get there like three and a half, four hours before the game. Yeah. So it's like, I can't listen and I can't be pumped the yeah. whole time. Like I'll wear myself out. Yeah. So I'll be like, man, I like to either listen to nothing, like kind of just like meditate on, um, envisioning things that I want to do that day or things that I see myself doing or I will, you know what I'm saying, listen to something slower. So, yeah. It's kind of cool too when you like meditating and see it come to fruition, yeah, right? Like, it's yeah, it's crazy, yeah. man. I, I tell people sometimes, I, I'm like, man, I had dreams, like I would do things and then the game coming in to happen, I'd be like, that's a little weird, you know what I'm saying? But it's just me, man, you know, in my mind, um, watching film all week, you know what I'm saying, preparing, game, uh, game planning and things like that. I kind of already have like a, a mental image of, of what I want to accomplish or what things I'm going to do. Like sometimes I see safeties and I'm like, oh, he he hits low every time. I know when he comes to me, I'm either going to try to jump over him or I'm going to juke him, you know what I'm saying? Or I might go low with him and just, <laughs> just to test the waters, you know what I'm saying? For sure. But it just depends. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. No, that's kind of, yeah, again, that's, you know, super special to see that, like, envisioning kick out. Yeah. When, you, when you're in that type of mindset, yeah, man, when you can do that, yeah. that takes you to a whole other level nah, as a person. Nah, for <laughs> real. Uh, I'm going to grab the tablet. All right, cool. We're going to rock out our, uh, our fun little portion here to trap up the conversation. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I know we got the pool table. We could have ran, ran that game, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. So the come up is, a, is one of the uh, segments that we've been working on through Wilson football. And pretty much what it is is it's a photo of each step in your, in, in this case, your football journey. So yeah. we got a high school photo of you, a college <laughs> one, and a pro one. Yeah. So I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each one, one at a time. Just watch your uh, initial reaction. Anything that comes to mind, you know, it could be a story, memory, or it could just be a reaction to it. So. All right, cool. First one right here, man. I think you actually, I think that's the Wilson in your hand, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the Wilson. That's crazy. That's the yeah. exact ball I, re I yeah. remember, too. Man, I remember this game. Um, so actually, I think this was uh, our uh, homecoming game. Okay. What year was this? My my senior year. Okay, this nice. is my senior year. So I remember because we was winning and um probably like going into the fourth quarter, I took my pass off, I took everything <laughs> off, and they had came back. Oh so like I was like, Man, I need a shirt, it was cold. So I that was actually my coach's shirt I got on. Oh no way. <laughs> yeah, and I put my pass back on and I went back out there. If I had to warm up again and went back out there and played and we ended up winning or whatnot. But I remember that game, it was it was pretty fun, yeah. The most important question is what color was your homecoming tie? <laughs> no, that's right. I'm just Look, I was like, Look, I'm, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. No, I love, I love that story, though. Coming yeah. back out. No, that's awesome. Right here, man. Another one. Good, good memory. The Bama days, like you yeah. said. Yeah. So this this picture, I actually have tatted this exact picture on the back of no my way. head. Okay. Yeah. So I would say this was so – this this picture right here in college was so important to me because – I had my I had my second kid two days before this game. Wow. Yeah, in college, my junior year. Um, and then we was playing Oklahoma, which is where is where I'm from. Yes. And I was like, okay, you know, however recruiting and things went, it's a long story. We however it went, it panned out where I didn't go there. Um, so when I had the opportunity to play them, I was like, okay, I'm gonna still let them know that like, you know, they missed out on me. Um and then I will also say I got it tatted on me because I feel like this play in this game uh, was was really the thing that like changed my whole life, mm -hmm. you know, changed my whole career. Like mm -hmm. really, especially in the football aspect of after this game, I was having coaches like, "You need to leave," you mm -hmm. know, early and things like that. Uh, and they was like, "You know, you're for sure first round pick. Like, you need to you need to go." Like yeah. this was the game that really like put me on the map, kind of stand me. Um, so that was definitely a, a, a big moment. I remember running over the running over one of the dudes going into the end zone. They still play <laughs> to this day. So, yeah, it was one of them crazy plays, carries games, really. I, it's neat because, like you said, it changed the trajectory of yeah. your life in a sense, right? Because you're like, oh, this is the moment where you – like, you always knew who you were and the yeah. people around you knew you were, who you were, the type of person you are, the yeah. player you could be. But that was like – you put the whole world, the world on notice, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Back. 
And yeah. then the, with the, the stiff army, man, it just seems like it's, it comes natural even in the week. It's just, <laughs> just we uh, ran a couple of gifts on our Wilson football social where we'll take some of the photos of your motions yeah. and we just put it together and it's, uh, you, yeah, you got a, a <laughs> You got a special trait doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that, dude, yeah. for real. Oh, uh, is that our last one? Man, just uh, kind of soaking in the moment. That's I thought that was kind of that, but I'd love to hear what you, what you think right here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember um, this was the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. this year. Um, first year with the C on my chest, you know, being a captain and, and things like that for the team. Uh, first year with the fans in a brand new stadium. Um, so I remember coming out. Now I always come out with the uh, black visor, the tinted visor. So I I remember coming out and I'm just like soaking it all in. Um, man, the stadium is electric, mm. electric. Like especially when it when it gets rocking, it's a good game and they have all the production. You know the lights <laughs> cutting off, the fog, all of that. You know all the crazy crazy production they have. It was just it was just a blessing. So I remember coming out, walking out, and I was just kind of like looking around, soaking everything up in this in this picture right here. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's like, I mean, that's, yeah, when we, when we saw that to incorporate, I was like, man, this just seems like a cool, like, captured moment, right? Yeah. You got the lights on behind you, and you're kind of just, like, in your zone. Yeah. And it was kind of like, like I didn't, didn't even realize, I love the captain story. I didn't even realize that was yeah. the first year with it. So that's, that's yeah, that's all I yeah. tell people, too. It's yeah. weird with football because, like, in the game, I don't even notice that there's fans. <laughs> like, at all. Really? Like, okay. At all. Yeah. Like, I, like, when I'm on the field, I can't even, I don't even notice the sidelines, like, the, the people on the sidelines. Um it kind of just be like tunnel vision. I don't mm. know how to explain it. And everything kind of slows down. But so like when I'm before the game is kind of where I'm like, okay, yeah. this is, this is, I'm kind of soaking it all in um, or after the game. But yeah, I remember coming out. I remember this was my first time with the C on my chest. I was like, man, it was a good, good yeah. feeling. You know what I'm That's saying? awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. And that, that seat's going to keep you in there for, for many years to come. So. Man, yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Hey, man. Uh, Derek Sloan, Josh Shagos, really appreciate you taking the time hanging out with the Wilson football family and uh, wish you the best of luck this season and beyond. And uh, we look forward to everything that's ahead, man. More man, blessings, more life. It, so. Thank you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks for having me.